God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Professional Truckers Association Church. I do count it a privilege each week to stand before you and declare the gospel of Jesus Christ. I must apologize to you. Uh, we have not broadcasted a new session in the past three, uh, going on four weeks. Uh, our, my place was broken into and my camera was stolen and some of the things that it takes to record this ministry and I had to regroup and buy new equipment and and uh, I'm thankful to uh, uh, even the offer of help from my brother uh, brother uh, uh, Ernesto uh, he uh, offered to do a fundraiser to replace our equipment and, and uh, we do thank God that uh, we did not uh, give him the go ahead to do that but God blessed us to get our equipment replaced and and now we're broadcasting again I ask that you pray for this ministry that God would bless us and and keep us uh, you know I think it's a great ministry and I'm uh, hearing great response from people that, that they are enjoying and listening to our broadcast and God is God is just so wonderful and I want to give him praise and give him the honor do his name because we know that it is him that's doing all that is uh, being done. Uh, let me also make an announcement. Uh, on, this, uh, on the 13th day of January at 7 p.m., I'll be singing in Austin, Texas. Uh, that's Austin, Texas, not too far from San Antonio. That's the capital city of Texas. I'll be singing. Uh, I'll be uh, 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 singing, and the broadcast will uh, be live on channel 16 that's television channel 16 in Austin Texas it also will be streaming live at a uh, channel Austin channelaustin.org uh, at the same time at 7 p.m. That's the 13th day of January. I encourage you, if you're in the Austin area, to turn your television set on and watch us uh, sing. We'll be singing. We have a, a few songs that we're going to sing on that day, and I trust that God will bless us. I, I need your prayer that we so that we can carry this everlasting gospel uh, in the way that God has given me to do it. Well, yes, I just tell you like it is. He's made me a teacher of his of the word of God, and I do that. And he's also made me a, a songwriter and a pretty good singer. And I, I uh, write songs, and thankfully those songs are being heard now. If you want to know the truth all over this world, I uh, do thank God we got fans now uh, through our music in, in uh, Russia and Australia, Sweden and and uh, uh, Africa and many places in our world. We have fans where people are listening to our music. And I do thank God that he's, he's uh, doing that. <clears throat> I encourage you uh, to uh, uh, listen to our music and purchase it. When you purchase our music, you are a blessing to this, this ministry and all the ministries at my hand. And I, I trust that you will do that. You will be a great blessing to the kingdom of, kingdom of God just by purchase, purchasing the music that I write and I sing. I want you to know that I love you with the love of the Lord. Today we'll be talking from a passage of scripture, uh, uh, chapter 42, and we'll begin reading today at the 8th verse of, uh, in the book of Isaiah. Before we begin our study, let, let's pray as I always do. I love praying for uh, uh, my fellow truck drivers that are out there uh, delivering and, and uh, doing things that they have to do to make uh, make a living for themselves and their families. I pray for you daily, and I trust that you pray for me as well. If you would bow your heads with me as we talk to the Lord. Father God, I just want to thank you because you are good to us. Thank you because you're so wonderful. You give us our life, our health, and our strength. And you give us the ability to do the things that we do. I ask, Lord, that you bless everyone under the sound of my voice, everyone listening to this broadcast. Bless them and touch them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Lord, the truck drivers that are driving up and down these highways, I want you to keep them safe, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hold them in the hollow of your hand. Let them them drive safely, Lord, and, and don't let others that are not driving safely come in contact with them. I want you to know that the, these men are doing a valuable service to our country, and I want you to bless them and hold them in the hollow of your hand. Be with their families, Lord, and help them to make, make it back home to their family without hurt, harm, and danger. We'll give you praise and honor for all things in Jesus' name. 
Amen and amen. Well, we'll be talking today uh, from the 42nd chapter, the 8th verse in the book of Isaiah. We uh, talked briefly uh, uh, on the first part of this chapter in our last setting. And I know there's been several, uh, three or four weeks now uh, since we broadcast. But uh, I, many times I teach in series. And, and teaching in series, you kind of need to have to keep up uh, and uh, listen to uh, the one prior so you know where we're going uh, uh, for the one that we're in and also for the future uh, future settings. Uh, so uh, I encourage you, if you can, go back to uh, the last Professional Truckers Association uh, broadcast and listen to that broadcast, and they will give intelligence even to what we'll be talking about on today. But the Bible reads in verse 8 of chapter 42, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give unto another neither my praise to carved images. Now that's just one verse. We're going to read others, but, but God is identifying himself, letting you know who's talking, letting, letting you know who he is. I am the Lord. That is my name and my glory will I not give to another. Now we got to keep that in mind. The glory of God, his glory, uh, the praise that's due him, he won't share, he won't give to another. That's the reason we have to be very careful uh, uh, when when God uses us a little bit, not to try to take the glory to ourselves, and not try to uh, not try uh, try to prove to others that we're the one that's all of that. All of our focus and all of our energy should be focused toward God. Uh, we need to let everyone know, regardless to what is done and who God uses in this realm, uh, the glory belongs to Him. Uh, see, you got to understand, you just a uh, 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 one person, and God can use you for a while, then he can set you down and pick somebody else and use them. So you're really, you're really not all of that, uh, but you have to thank God that he chose you, you to use you uh, for a small, uh, short time, but you have to always give glory to God. That's what it's all about, giving glory to God. And God is letting us know that I am the Lord, that that, uh, uh, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another. My glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to, to carved images. Now, uh, I, I'm going to read on, and we're going to get further intelligence in verse 9. Behold, the former things uh, are come to pass. Uh, the former things are come to pass. Uh, former, anything uh, former, is, is that's already past tense. The former things uh, are come to pass. Uh, now, many times we read over words, and we sometimes words get run all together, and we lose the meaning uh, of them. Uh, let's, let's talk about it just in brief. Behold, the former things uh, are come to pass. Uh, what are you talking about? They came at two pass. Uh, you got to understand, they came to pass. Uh, even the troubles in your life, they come, but yet they're going to pass. You got to understand that trouble is not going to last always. They came to pass. Uh, behold, the former things are come to pass, uh, and new things do I declare. Uh, the former things, they come to pass, uh, and new things do I declare. Uh, before they spring forth, uh, I tell you of them. Uh, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. In other words, what is God saying? Uh, before they even happen, I, I tell you about it. I'll let you know that they're going to happen. I warn you that they're going to happen. Or, or I, I, I tell you that they're going to happen. That even gives you encouragement when they do happen. Uh, you know this is of God. Uh, I'll read 9 again. Behold, the former things are come to pass, uh, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, uh, I tell you of them. In verse 10, sing unto the Lord a new song, uh, and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that are that are in it, the coast, uh, and their in, in, inhabitations. Uh, shall I read that again? I want you to get this picture now. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord a new song, uh, and his praise from the end of the earth. Uh, ye that go down to the sea, uh, and all that 
that is in it, uh, the coast and their inhabitation, uh, well, everything, uh, the ones in the sea, the things in the sea, uh, and uh, on the coast, uh, this is talking about the people and also the inhabitants of uh, that's in the sea. Uh, what are we talking about here? Uh, and now, let's continue in verse 11. Let the wilderness and the cities therefore lift up their voices. The villages that uh, that uh, Kedar uh, doeth inhabit, inhabit uh, let the inhabitants of the rock spring, rock sing, um, let them shout from the top of the mountains. What is this writer talking about? Uh, well, he first starts saying sing, sing a new song, uh, and his praise from the ends of the earth, uh, yet that go down to the sea. Now, he first talked about the sea and the coastland, and now he's saying, let the wilderness, out in the wilderness, uh, and the cities thereof, uh, lift up their voices, uh, and the villages of Kedar, both uh, do it and have it, uh, let the inhabitants of the rock sing, uh, let, uh, uh, let them shout from the top of the mount. Who is he talking about here? Let's read one more verse and I'll talk about it. Uh, let them give glory unto the Lord uh, and declare his praise in the coastland. What is he saying? Uh, I want all of, the, all of these areas uh, to sing forth praise. Uh, I want all uh, uh, from the depths of the sea. I want you to praise. Uh, praise the name of our God uh, on the coastland. Praise the name of our God. Uh, now, in the cities, praise the name of our God. Uh, in, the, in the villages, praise the name of our God. Uh, in the rocks, uh, talking about in the hill countries where uh, the rocks are stacked on top of each other. You praise the name of the Lord. Uh, and on the mountaintops, praise the name of the Lord. What is he saying? Uh, he's saying, let everything, uh, people everywhere, uh, not only people, but everything that can and will, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, that's what he wants you to do. Just praise uh, and magnify his name. Let's read another verse. Uh, the Lord shall go forth like a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. Uh, the Lord will prevail against his enemies. Uh, don't you ever fret. Uh, don't you know that God, the God of all flesh, uh, he will prevail against his enemies? Uh, there's nothing alive. There's nothing that's ever been uh, can subdue our God. Uh, he will always prevail against his enemies. Uh, and all he wants you to do uh, and me to do uh, is just to praise his name. Uh, don't you know the Lord loves you so much? Your enemies become his enemies. Yes, when you're doing the right thing, when your mind and your heart is set right, well, your enemies are his enemies. And then his enemies ought to be your enemies. Why? Because you love him that kind of, you love God that way. Well, you got to understand, God will always prevail over his enemies. And he assigned you and I, all we have to do is just praise the name of the Lord. All, all, that's all he wants us to do. When we praise him, don't you know he'll, he'll take up and do his part? He will prevail against our enemies. He wants you to praise him. Well, he told you where it doesn't matter where you live. You can live in the sea, if you please. You can live on the coastland. You can live in the wilderness. You can live in the cities. You can live in the villages. You can live in the mountains, the, 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 the crest of the mountains. You can live on the mountaintops. He wants you to praise his name. He wants you to praise him. And when you do your job, I guarantee you he will do his job. He will subdue your enemies. He will subdue his enemies. Why? Because he's God. And when we do our job, and that's just to praise him, and that also lets us know you can praise him anywhere. You can praise him driving your four-wheel automobile. You can praise him driving that 18-wheel truck. You can, you can praise him driving doubles, if you please, or triples. You can praise him. You can praise him out on the ocean. You can praise him when you're climbing mountains. You can praise him when you're driving through cities. You can praise him wherever you are. And that's what he wants you and I to do. Just lift up our hand. And you got to understand, God, he's the kind of God he knows all of us don't praise him alike. But what he'll have some of 
us. Uh, he, you know, some of us praise him just by lifting our hands. Uh, some of us praise him by just saying, thank you, Jesus. Uh, some of us praise him by saying, praise the Lord. Uh, oh, all of us should praise him by saying, hallelujah, uh, because that fits in every language. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, well, I guarantee you, uh, if you praise, uh, that's, that's the only assignment you have, uh, is to praise the name of our God. Uh, when you praise him, uh, he will fight for you. <clears throat> and he never, he never, he never loses his fights. Uh, he never loses uh, the battles that, he, that he's in. Uh, the, in verse 13, uh, the Lord, uh, he shall prevail against his enemies. Uh, he always prevails, uh, always. Uh, and all he wants you and I to do is just praise him. Uh, when you praise him, you can praise him in the morning. Uh, you can praise him at noon. Uh, praise him in the evening hours. Uh, praise him in the midnight hours. Uh, he's there and he's listening. Uh, and when you praise him. Uh, he stands up for you uh, and he will fight your battles uh, because your enemies become his uh, and his enemies are yours. Uh, why? Because you love him uh, and he loves you. Uh, when you praise him, uh, he'll stand there uh, and fight for you. Uh, why? Because he will never, uh, he will never lose a fight. Uh, he'll never lose a battle. Uh, the Lord will always prevail uh, over his enemies. Uh, I want you to know that I love you, my friends. I love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, if you would like to contact me for any reason, you can write me at uh, the Work with Chester Ministries, uh, the Professional Truckers Association, uh, or, or just Chester, if you please. Uh, write me uh, at Post Office Box 200603, uh, San Antonio, Texas, uh, 78220. Uh, you can also uh, reach me at my website, uh, www.poemsbychester.com. Dot com. Uh, well, my friend, remember the songs that we have available. Uh, you can purchase them on iTunes, Amazon, or anywhere on the World Wide Web. Uh, you will be blessed by hearing them, and you will be a blessing to this ministry. Remember, I love you, my friends. I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you.